Hi, welcome back for another Make It Monday video. This is Erin Lincoln and I'm here today to show you how to create your own text on die cuts using the computer. They actually work kind of backwards. You see we have this little uh, book plate set and envelope. It says this book belongs to Erin Lincoln and there certainly isn't an Erin Lincoln stamp. So I'm going to show you how to do that and get it perfectly positioned on a die cut. And then we're making this little folder to give these book plates as a gift. Really simple. You'll be surprised just how easy this is and what professional results you can get with just working a little bit backwards with how you die cut. Let me show you how. All right, here's my project. Uh, the front it says, for my fellow bibliophile. Now again, I'm going to show you how to print that and die cut it. And inside this little folder are book plates. This book belongs to Aaron Lincoln. And if you notice, I have a butterfly and text theme, which I carry over on the front. So first things first, you print your text first. And I like these self-adhesive sheets that they sell in the store. They are fabulous. We're going to use these because for book plates, you want something permanent. They can uh, just adhere in a book. So we're using a stamp from Matt Stack 3 Collection. And again, I have... Uh, this is my friend's name, Amy Carosa, printed six times on a self-adhesive sheet. Um, I'm not sure what kind of word processing program you have, but you can figure out how to use text boxes. That's the best way to get these positioned where you can maximize the number you get per sheet. And if you notice, I'm just stamping, and I'm able, because they are clear stamps, to make sure that name is in the little opening for text on this book plate stamp really simple. And I'm just going to do another one. I actually have to show you how I have to do two because I'm cutting this piece of paper in half. I need to make sure I have room on both sides. Okay, this says this book belongs to and it's from the All Booked Upset. And I have a little bit of room there on my stamp. It says this book belongs to Amy Carosa, the Amy Carosa being computer generated. The uh, this book belongs to is a stamp and you would never know it. Now I need a little label for the inside of my folder and we're going to go ahead and stamp that here. This little thing says having you as a friend is like curling up with a good book, something along those lines. It's from All Booked Up too. Stamping it in Barry Sherbert. And then I'm getting my label basic stamp out right now. And we're going to go ahead and stamp that. I like using the self-adhesive sheets when I use label basics. They just, for some reason, the weight and the texture of the self-adhesive sheets kind of works well with the labels because most labels are sticky, right? Just inking it up. This is one of the rare stamp sets in the PTI collection where the stamp goes over the edges of the die. And that's important. You're going to see here in a second it allows you to die cut after you stamp and that's why I did it in this order. Kind of an unusual exception to the rule. I'm cutting my piece of paper self piece sheet in half because it has to fit through my die cut machine. And I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this. Perfectly positioned. I'm using a piece of dark cardstock in my Matt Stack 3 die and I'm going to basically cut myself, a, it's like a guide run it through, save the middle, the positive piece, use it for another project, you don't need it now, you're really interested in the negative, save that, all right now get my stamped piece that I already did and position it underneath that guide and line it up, very easy to do, very, you can do quite a precision cut here and the die kind of fits in like a double puzzle piece on that guide and you die cut as usual and watch what happens and this way we have ha created a computer generated book plate perfectly cut out with really no trouble at all it is a thing of beauty check that out so you can see how you're just working backwards. You're printing, stamping, and then cutting last. And we're going to cut out this little label right here. This stamp goes beyond the edges. 
Now I don't usually do this, I'm wasting this, but my camera's in the way and I needed to just rip that off. So ignore that. That didn't happen. Alright, position your angled label die on top of your stamped label. Run it through. Now every now and again we mess up. And you'll see here in a second that there's a white edge. Oh no. But this gives me an opportunity to show you how I fix that. So we're going to put this aside and I'll show you a little later on how to fix it. Okay, again we have a computer generated strip on the front. I already have that printed out. There's no stamping this time. This is why I'm showing you this. It's a little different. Photo finisher strip. Made my guide already. And this one has nice embossed edges. It looks so great. I had to use my shim on my cuddle bug. I usually use my uh, Big Shot Express, but for the videos I use my cuddle bug. And I'm not as comfortable with it anymore. But we do need to use that shim. Again, just put your die in like a puzzle piece on top of your guide. Line it up, run it through, and you are creating a professional project. See, even the shim didn't work for me, so I had to cut it out the last little bit. Luckily, they were straight edges. No problem. Oh, we gotta improvise. Okay, this is a piece of Barry Sherbert cardstock that I have cut with an edger's die on one side. It is three and a half times nine inches. I'm scoring it at two three and a half inch intervals to create my folder. It's a pretty involved little project. For the sake of time, I did not show you how to die cut the edgers. We have a 15 minute time limit on YouTube, so I had to uh, forgo that, but I'm sure on other videos we have shown that. Score it tape to create my po pocket here. If you hear that crazy child in the background, that's my daughter who doesn't want to take a nap, but it's nap time. She's very happy in there, squealing, playing with her feet, I'm sure. All right, creating a pocket. Now, I have a butterfly and text theme, so I'm using Miley's new beautiful butterflies to reinforce my theme. I put a butterfly there a little off the pocket on the inside. Now, here's my label, and I'm just using scissors to trim out that white bit so it looks less like a mistake. I do this actually all the time. It's an easy way to salvage your die cuts. Snip, snip, you'll never know it. Again, it's on the self-adhesive sheets. Now on my prototype project, I centered this. And when I went to do it, on film right here, I said I didn't like it so much. It covered up too much of that butterfly. So I'm improvising. I'm just kind of moving it to the side, going with the flow. There you go. Done. Inside is done. Now we have to put the middle on that book plate. And from all booked up, I have this three and three, no, excuse me, one and three quarter circle tag of a girl reading a book and there's butterflies on a text background and that is what got me started on the whole butterfly theme. It was jump, my jumping off point. There you go, perfect. And of course it would be if I was gifting this, and I am gifting this, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to make more book plates. Be a nice stack of a dozen to, you know, 16, 18 in there when I'm all said and done. But we don't have time for that. Okay, background basics, textiles two, textile two. Making it up. And I'm actually starting at the top, right there at the fold, so I don't have to do any masking. I would have to do masking if I started at the bottom. And that is why I chose to go there. And the fold in the paper is a good guide as to where to start stamping. Just these little things you have to think about when you, you know, you create your projects. And I cannot tell you how many times I have stamped this strip backwards. It drives me crazy. Got to check. 
All right, that's complete, and now we are adding on some butterflies. Miley's new uh, butterfly, beautiful butterflies is nice because the butterflies kind of look like they're flying at different angles. And we're just kind of going with the flow. Little here, little here. See what I need. Gonna get some big ones, and then we're gonna fill in with small ones. And I'm using a foam pad underneath, and then I have a piece of typing paper so I don't get ink on my foam pad. I get a nice give, and I protect my project. And that typing paper just goes in the trash when I'm done. Okay, on my little strip here, I do want a little butterfly. There we go. And again, this says, for my fellow bibliophile friend. I decide we need one last butterfly. Off the edge. One more? Nah, too much. Okay, we are done with stamping. And you see text and butterflies, it matches across two or three different stamp sets. Because it's how you combine things. I always look for connections like this. Alright, I'm applying a little adhesive to the front. And I screwed up there on my textile, but it was okay because I'm covering it up. Bordery floss. Alright, that adhesive is going to hold my embroidery floss in place. And then I'm going to put my strip on top with some extra adhesive for something that's going to get a lot of play, you know, tying, untying. There's no such thing as too much adhesive. Got to reinforce that. On it goes. Snip, snip on the edges. Make sure you don't cut that embroidery floss you adhered and hid so nicely. I only say this because I made the mistakes like a gazillion times. Not a quick learner, I guess. Alright, and then we're just going to tie it on the side. I was going to do a double knot. Normally I would with embroidery floss, but you know, this is meant to be opened, so. There we go. All tied and ready to go. And I kind of like how the loops of the bow look like the wings of the butterfly. Just something I thought when I was tying it. Trim trim, make sure you leave a little bit of room because they will probably want to retie it. And there you go. Personalized book plates and a little cover strip with your computer and they are perfectly positioned and perfectly die cut. You saw just how easy it is. Now go try it yourself. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope to see you next Monday for another Make It Monday video.